hill climbing, a sport as grueling both for men and machines as any you'll find. A good demonstration of how the two wheelers can really take it. And the key to a rugged motorcycle, as we learn here at the Indian Company in Springfield, Massachusetts, is a rugged engine. These pioneers in motorcycling devote a lot of craftsmanship and quality materials to all parts of the vehicle, of course. But their real pride is the 80 cubic inch side valve engine. Power from this biggest motorcycle engine being made today is transmitted to the wheel by an endless chain. The clutch is made up of multiple discs that will run in oil. Now, engine, primary drive case, and transmission are ready to be assembled in the motorcycle frame, where they'll supply the power of 50 horses, enough to push the cycle along at a speed of 100 miles an hour plus. The engine will be anchored to the steel tubing of the frame at four points, about as rigidly as it's possible to make it. Anything less, and the rough going a motorcycle is often subjected to, would shake it loose. The front wheel brake is installed on the fork. It has fins for cooling. Now they'll put on the handlebars. The first Indian motorcycle was turned out here in Springfield in 1901. Its makers have picked up an awful lot of experience in the half century since. Now the parts go on rapidly and the vehicle begins to look like a motorcycle. The front wheel. The rod that operates the rear brake is fixed in place and the motorcycle is complete ready for the road test that must prove the machine is everything it should be before being crated for shipment to a buyer who in most cases will make greater demands on it than any vehicle would ordinarily be expected to meet.